Alright, welcome back. This is episode 74 of Let's Play Mass Effect Andromeda. Things are getting a little exciting now. I'm enjoying exploring this new planet at least, although at the moment we are stuck in the middle of this giant mysterious remnant vault. So that's the way we came in. Probably nothing down here, but just to be sure. Don't want to go down there. You never know, there could be something hidden up here. Going Bioware. Certainly not put it past them. In fact, this almost seems... No. I was going to say it almost seems like a jumping puzzle, which would be a little too perfect to be an accident, but there's an invisible wall here, so I guess it is just that, an accident. Still, they could have put like a container up there or something, that would have been nice. Nice view. Putting those shock absorbers to the test. Alright, so this is the vault. We need to get down here. And it seems like I need to activate a thing up here to do that. But if I can't get one of those guys to cross the bridge, how do I do that? Alright. Let's circle back here. Make sure we didn't miss anything important, like one of those glyphs. And this one... There's a door there that's open, but if I switch it... Remnant observation control? Oh, hey buddy. Alright, so it summons one of those guys. So it looks like you can summon more than one then, in case you like miss something. Or did I just not get this one before? Maybe I just didn't get this one before. Two more mystery doors. Let's see what's behind door number one. It's appropriate, didn't uh... I think Money Hall actually died recently. It's a shame I used to watch him on uh, TV growing up. seem to do anything. Nor did that console. What if we hit both two lights up here? Does that mean something? I don't know. I don't know. Now this door is closed and I'm pretty sure it was open before. Yeah, because that's how we got through. Oh, not again. Or she's talking about our floating guy. That just makes another one of those guys. See, I'm pretty sure I hadn't opened those doors before. But if that's how you open the door down there, maybe I had? They must have left a hint behind somewhere. Is it those lights? Are those a hint? I need a bigger hint. Is this even a door? Sure looks like one. This looks a little like Willy Wonka's fun house. This just makes those guys there. What if I hit it again? Does it open the door instead of making one of those? Turns it off. That didn't affect the door. Something I just did got rid of that console. Mysterious music playing, but nothing happening. Oh, now I close the way I came in? No. 
I actually came in that way. See, but I thought last time I kept going this side of the area. I'm pretty sure of it. I'm pretty sure I didn't go around this side. Which I could do now. Could I even jump up here? Nope. Guess not. Alright, well, let's go back this way then. So this console affects this thing, and I guess that door, and this door, so it's like an airlock. I don't know what difference this thing here makes. Maybe when this guy goes through one of those things it kills them? That could be an interesting puzzle. So the challenge is guiding one of these guys all the way through the puzzle? What I really need though is for him to follow me over here, which he seems unwilling to do. See, he's like stuck there. And now I'm on the other side of this thing. That's where I need to go. I've already scanned you, I'm pretty sure. Nope, guess not. Didn't grab that either. See, what I need is a guy to open up this thing. And that's what I'm having trouble finding. Alright, so... This is similar to the other side. So now he can go through here. But I wonder if... See, if I hit this again and open this door, is this shield thing going to kill him? Let's try it. At least I can confirm my theory. Can he just fly over it? Maybe he can. Alright. Sweet. Guess it wasn't that hard after all. He knows what to do. We should just have PB bring her two guys. Zap and Pock. Would have made this a lot easier. We have two consoles. This one is four lights, and that one is three. So they're numbered, essentially. But does that just mean I have to hit all four switches for something to happen? It keeps scaring me by saying that. Don't see any more glyphs around here. Yeah, that opens that. I got that much. Pretty sure I hit all four switches, but nothing happened. I can see it. Tantalizingly close. Did I undo one of the other switches by accident, and that's causing it not to open? I feel like I'm so close. Wait, let me get him in here first, just in case I need him. Yeah, I've been in here. And maybe this is the way over. I mean, it doesn't make sense to really go across there. I don't know why I was thinking that was the way in. It seems like this is a much more likely way in. I don't see anything over there that would be helpful. I'm pretty sure I already opened that guy. Yeah. Alright, let's uh, keep going this way then. Got a destroyer. Do we? Where? So if I hit this, is it really that simple? This could get ugly. Yeah, okay. Wasn't that hard after all. Progenitor. He sounds tough. 
Wow, that's a lot of HP. You know what? Let's go ahead and I don't know if fire will do anything, but well, even the turret has a lot of health. Let's see if I can take away some of the shields. Yeah, that did it. I'm also curious as to whether the ammo affects one gun or all of them. Just one, apparently. Now we're talking. Keep those guys busy. Not sure where the weak spot is. Time to get some shields back here. Getting overloaded a bit. Oh, squad mates down. Should have seen that coming. This guy is doing lots of damage. Starting to get outnumbered here. All right, let's equip. Uh, can I do incendiary ammo on this guy too? Yes, I can. Whoa, it's just me now. That's not good. 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 I don't know what that thing is. I need some serious shields back. Come on, shields. Getting very outnumbered here. or something. Get down, get down, get down. What I really need to do is res one of those guys, but I gotta get back there first. And to do that, I need some serious shields. Oh, I missed. That sucks. Alright. Let's use one of these guys then. I don't like using them because it's kind of like cheating, but I'm not gonna beat this otherwise. Get behind the thing, get behind the thing. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, where's my squad? I gotta get to Liam, because he's further away. More ammo, I could use that too. Let me get behind the thing, and then I'll res Liam. Come on, come on, come on. Good, now there's two of us. Jeez, there's a lot of these guys. Oh, that missed. Can't afford to miss. And he's dead again. Come on, shields. All right. Jeez. At least his shields aren't really going back up. Here, move, move, move. Get down, get down, get down. Oh, those shields do regenerate. Got him. That's more like it. Come on, Liam. Can't afford to miss. Uh, that was kind of useless. Okay, if I get Vetra up and kill this guy, I think 
we can do this. It's one of our toughest fights yet. Alright, we're all up, at least for now. Oh, I missed the observer again. So that's what I... That's the issue here when I keep missing them. Let's go back to this guy. Or yeah, this guy. Liam's dead again. Alright, this is actually doing a lot of damage to him now that I have ammo back. That went really quickly. Yeah, I'd like to look at that, but a little busy at the moment. My squad mates are napping on the job here. Alright, that was tough. But fun. Everybody alive again? Good. Yeah, without those uh, consumables, I definitely would not have made it through that. But that's why I have them. Alright, lots of remains. I guess that's about all of them. Hesitant to put my gun away, but should be okay now. Stop saying that. Keep uh, triggering my instincts. Inventory full? What? You have the maximum number of remnant decryption keys. Oh, okay. I guess you can only have 10 of those. Yeah, there are two remnants up here. Hopefully not big ones, though. Oh, there they are. Nice and easy. That must be the console to start the tiller. Let's push the shiny button and see what happens. Oh. Do I not have enough glyphs? Nope, I guess I got all the glyphs. Alright, so let's see here. We will use our usual strategies. Um this one can't be any of these three, which means it must be that guy. The one at the caddy corner. And this one can't be any of these three, so it must be that guy. And then process of elimination. It's easier and easier. Wait a minute. That one. Um... This one can't be, I'm going to call this F, E, J, and the triangles. Alright, yeah, once you get any kind of row of three, it becomes real easy to figure out. Uh, let's see, this one can't be, has to be the C-shaped one. Or I guess more of an E-shaped one. That guy. Yep. There we go. Yay, what I get? Interface accepted. Lots of viability points. Multiple so we're still in the at like the outcome. Oh. That's not good. Let's get back to the surface. Well, that's convenient. Anything else in here? Besides a lot of noise. It's cool though. It's remnant, but it's something a little different. I like that. It does seem though that our Andromeda viability is still overall very low. About a third of the way full. I wonder if this Meridian thing will fill that up quite a bit, the same way an individual bolt fills up the viability of a single planet by almost half. At least they make the way out nice and easy. It'd be cool if like, the asteroid was radically different once we get there. Already scanned that guy, I believe. 
Yeah, he's friendly. Just to be sure. Alright, up and at him. Not sure who was doing what here, but I guess they couldn't figure it out. And we did. Yay us. Doesn't seem different up here. You sure we activated the tiller? The mechanisms are deep underground, so the effects are not visible. Within months, you'll begin to see a dramatic increase in helium-3 production. Not bad for a planet we rode off. Well, that's kind of lazy, but okay. I guess it is a destroyed planet, so we can't really expect much. Um, Alright, well, I'm going to continue going where we meant to go before, which was this way. That responsibility thing. It's about my sister, isn't it? Good sleuthing, Sherlock. Gold star. Your mouth's going to get your ass in trouble. My mouth didn't drag a kid to Andromeda. Screw you, Costa. She had a choice. Some choice. Lose you or come here. Crazy how upbeat she is, considering. Stay out of my shit and don't talk to my sister. Yeah, they are not getting along at all. So let's make a left-hand turn first. Right here. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Well, that's cool. Can we get a closer look? <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's see where the best place is. Here apparently. Is that it? Guess so. All right. Now there was a uh, another something nearby too. Another bubble. It's very easy to get disoriented Pathfinder. here. This area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. So we have to go that way. So the rest of the people with families here, you judging them too? Look, I get it. The initiative sold us on golden worlds, but kids, even if everything was perfect, it's 600 years and no going back. A child doesn't understand that. I get you too, Costa. Everyone knows how to parent other people's kids. Get back to me when you're looking out for something other than yourself. Ouch. I mean, yeah, in some degree, though, that's why we have parents to decide things for their kids so they're not yet old enough to decide for themselves. Like, I don't think... According to Sid's intel, that's where those settlers are being held. We should check it out. Okay, we will do. But, uh... Like, I think if a, a seven-year-old was left behind in the Milky Way while her parents went off to Andromeda, and then she grew up, I think she'd be pretty sad to have not been able to go with her parents and her siblings and other family that might have been coming, so... I mean, it's like when parents move to 
Right, it's not quite the same thing. Like if your parents move to Australia and take you with them, you don't really have a choice. But I guess at least then you can always move back. That's what's cool about sci-fi. Moral dilemmas that you don't get in the real world. Good sci-fi, at least. Life in our immediate vicinity. Hmm. Let's head in, but stay sharp. My sister may have missed something. In Do you wish to embark on the mission? Ooh. This sounds fun. Let's do it. Because you have to have Vetra. Investigation. This must be one of them priority missions. Or whatever they call them. Looks like no one's home. I swear if Sid sent us on a pointless search, I'm going to drill her shin plates. Sam detected life. Uh oh. Move! Go! Stay away. What the hell was that? Did I land on you? Sorry. I'm gonna fill with gas now. Ah, Nix, so good to finally meet you. And you brought friends. That's even the Pathfinder, if I'm not mistaken. My bait worked better than expected. The missing settlers. Who are you? Why are you kidnapping innocents? Innocents? <sighs> They're criminals. You helped them get away from me. You think I'm gonna let that go? Get comfortable. You'll be here a while. I need to know what you've been doing and who you've pissed off. I don't know who that was or what she was talking about. I know better than to... It's okay, Vetra. You don't have to cover for us. That was Meriwether. She runs a smuggling ring on Kadara. We worked for her. Vetra helped us get out of it. New lives, hiding in the outposts. So you're helping people. There was no need for all that modesty. It's not modesty. I didn't help anyone. Okay, okay. You didn't help anyone. I'm getting out of here. We've tried. There's no way out. There's always a way out. Ryder, you have to believe me. I've no idea what's going on. I'm going to get answers, but first we have to get out of here. Perdomos. Vetra seems really agitated. It's making me doubt what really happened. I, uh, I hope this all gets sorted out soon. Uh, that's a lot of questions. Do you know what Meriwether plans to do with us? We were always bait for Vetra. Now that Vetra's here, Meriwether has no use for us. And for Vetra, most likely revenge. Meriwether doesn't care for people who meddle in her business. Nothing good in store for anyone, I'm certain. There was some mention of you being a Nexus exile? Yeah. I'm not proud of it. When we first got here, things were bad. Real bad. It was all too easy to start scapegoating the initiative. When the revolt happened, I joined. But things aren't better on Kadara. We're out there on your own. Thanks to Vetra, I got a second chance to do things right. Tell me more about Meriwether. She used to be some kind of military surveyor. Now, she's a gang leader and smuggler. Working for her was all right at first. Then, uh, she started doing things we didn't agree with. But you don't just quit working for Meriwether. We needed someone to help hide us. Now, Meriwether's convinced we're scheming against her or something. Wonder if that's a reference to Lewis and Clark. I think uh, Lewis's first name was Meriwether. You said Vetra helped you. How exactly? Some of us were trying to get off Kadara. She must have heard about it through contacts. She reached out to us, made up assignments at the outposts. That got us free. We didn't meet her in person, only over comms. Maybe it was never really her. You think? Anyway, we thought Meriwether would let us go. We were wrong. How did Meriwether get a base on this planet? 
She made friends on Kadara. Some Angarans who told her about this place. It was a mine or something. It got damaged and abandoned. It was perfect for Merriweather. She wanted to strike out on her own, away from Sloan. We put a lot of work into this place. Carved out a niche, doing things even Sloan won't touch. There'll be time to talk later. Alright, let's talk to Vetra now. We need to talk. Yeah, I know. These people here think I helped them, and somehow Merriweather feels screwed over by it. You sure you don't know anything about what happened here? Ryder, I swear on my sister's life. I don't know what I did to put myself in Merriweather's crosshairs. How well do you know Merriweather? I've heard of her. A smuggler, not affiliated with either the outcasts or collective. Never did business with her myself. Kind of a loose cannon from what I've heard. What do you think Merriweather's planning? Looks like she was gunning for me. Use the people she thinks I helped as bait. If you ask me, she's planning to kill me. After a thorough interrogation, of course. Sounds like she wasn't expecting you. Might try to get something out of the Nexus in exchange. We'll talk later. Focus on getting out of here. What I like to hear. Well, let's show her she got more than she bargained for when she captured the three of us. So what can we use to escape? I don't even know how long we've been here. She must throw them food and supplies or something to get by. The data pad didn't seem helpful. What about downstairs? There's a door. Door controls are not accessible from here, Pathfinder. There has to be a way out. I can open the doors from my end, but they're powered down. We need to get them going again. Your end? Who are you? I don't like the sound of this, Ryder. Just get those doors some power! Alright. It appears functional. No way to know until we try. And now we have to connect the two, so we need some wire. That looks like wire, but doesn't seem to be usable. That cable's not going to get power to that door. Nope, too damaged. All right, how about this one? These might connect the door to the generator. Let's do it. And there you go. Well, thank you, mysterious benefactor. Go, go, stop looking, get inside. Hopefully it's not a trap. Oh, am I supposed to go in there too? Alright. Does say a company colonists. Uh, what now? We're all here, yes? Miss somebody? Oh, hostiles are here. We have to defend them. Yeah. Shouldn't be too bad. Just pirates. And they are not on stable ground. That took care of it. We should check if the colonists are okay. <laughs> they better be. That was a quick fight. Is everyone okay? Sidera Nix, you've been pretending to be me, haven't you? Uh, how did you? Think I don't recognize my own tricks? And stop using my voice. Sorry. It was just easier to get things done when people thought I was you. You know, because you have contacts and stuff. Sid. So you didn't help us, just like you said. It was... Yeah, my kid's sister. Kind of had a feeling that was her. Give your sister some credit, Vetra. This wasn't exactly easy to pull off. Ryder, don't encourage her. Sid, 
I know you're in the facility somewhere. Get back in your shuttle and return to the Nexus. But I can help you get everyone out of here. You hacked a door without checking for safeguards. That's help we don't need. So walk me through it. I got eyes on the base. Ryder? I really hope this ends well. There's not really a uh, agree with Vetra option here. She's your sister. Great. Thanks for the backup. Fine, Sid. You can help, but follow my instructions and don't get creative. We'll stay put and follow you when it's safe. Don't want to get caught in the crossfire. The sooner we get going, the better. Sid will alert us if anything's headed our way. All right. Get down the corridor, through the mess hall. That's quickest. Before we'll... we go farther, are you in a safe spot? Yeah, I'm tapped into their system from outside. Shuttle's well hidden. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Do you, though? All right, well, we will continue this great escape in the next episode, because I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll be right back.